That newly proposed law could better protect you, your home, from being stolen. And it all comes after our investigation revealed families having their homes sold and they didn't even know about it. Atlanta News First investigative reporter Sierra Cummings is live at five from the state capitol for us. Sierra, you know, some lawmakers say this is a common sense bill. Yeah, that's because our reporting reveal to file paperwork on a house in the clerk's office. No ID is required. Families say this led to deed theft or stolen homes. This new bill would make proof of identification mandatory. The bill just filed is called Georgia Not On My Deed Act. Not only would it make showing an ID mandatory to file a deed, but also if the customer does not give ID, the clerk's office can refuse to record the deed or any other property paperwork. That matters because stealing a home is not as hard as you may think in Georgia. That's according to the experts. It starts with forged paperwork, like a fake deed, plus a fraudulent loan. In some of those cases, the house ends up wrongfully foreclosed, too. He said that he was the new owner. Atlanta News First investigation showed you cases like Eric Clark's. The father came home to notice that his house was no longer his. Eric is not alone, as we uncovered. State Representative Amandisha Thomas says she was disturbed by these cases. I'm baffled. I'm baffled at why we're not using our power and authority to protect Georgians in their homes. She calls it bizarre that an ID is not a current requirement. Some of them are having a hard enough time paying their property taxes to stay in their home. And then to find out that your home is swished from underneath you, some of these people don't even realize it until D-Day. So there is no fight. It's just gone. It is bizarre. I mean, you have to do your due diligence, but you do your due diligence to the extent of the law. And that's why it's important that House Bill 888 passes. Thomas does hope for bipartisan support. That remains to be seen. However, this is something she's already put her money behind. She sent out flyers, mailers, brochures to Georgians, reminding them, asking them to reach out to their own district representatives in support of this bill. It is worth noting something similar just passed last year in Texas, requiring an ID to minimize property fraud. We're live at the state capitol. I'm Sierra Cummings. Atlanta News First investigates. You can text the word stolen home to 470-777-WANF right now to find out how to get alerts if someone files paperwork on your own home.